YouTube premieres. It's the new feature that kind of sneak peeks videos for your viewers and your subscribers. But how do you use it? That's what we talk about today. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer and if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel or push your brand out there onto the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe, start creating. But before we do this I'd like to thank my friends at TubeBuddy for sponsoring this video. TubeBuddy is a browser based plugin that will help you optimise your titles, your descriptions and your tags and rank better on search. There is a link in the description down below. Use the code ALANSBUDDY should you wish to use any paid upgrades for a 20% discount. YouTube has recently updated its features and functionality, and maybe you're one of those lucky people that now has the YouTube Premiere function. The YouTube Premiere functionality basically means that you can publish your video before you publish your video. I know, sounds confusing. Basically, you pre-record your video, you upload your video just like you normally would, you title, you describe, you tag it, but then, instead of scheduling it to go live at a certain point, you schedule it and then click the premiere button, that little icon there. What this then does, it tells YouTube that you will be live streaming this video. And then when that live stream is done, that video then acts like a normal video. But what it does do is for 30 minutes beforehand, it will ping out a notification to all of your subscribers and the people that have the notification icon clicked. So if you wanna see my YouTube premieres, hit that little bell button, go on. And at the point that you've scheduled it to go live, say for example, seven o'clock in the evening, then your video starts, but it starts with a two minute countdown timer. And it adds the live stream chat functionality. So you can sit there with all your subscribers and chat about the video as it's premiered for the first time, kind of like a, a sneak peek. And then once it's done, and when it's finished, it then reacts like a normal YouTube video. It promotes itself to your subscriber feed and people can come in and watch it. And they can even see that live stream chat thing on the right hand side once it's done. And all you have to do to activate it is go into your video where you've uploaded, click edit, and on the right hand side above the schedule section, you'll see YouTube premieres and a little slidey box, yes or no. You choose premiere, you then choose the time that you want to schedule it to, you click schedule, and then you wait for that time, and then you enjoy the little viewer party that you happen to have started. Now the premiere feature may bring in more engagement, it may make an event out of your content. But in my opinion, my videos are three to five minutes long, aren't necessarily worth a kind of viewing party and popcorn. I may be wrong, feel free to tell me otherwise. But in the case of say a Shane Dawson documentary, where the videos are 10, 20, 40, or in the case of the very, very last Shane Dawson documentary, the very last episode was over an hour and 45 minutes long, then maybe it's worth having a chat room next to it and premiering it in that kind of fashion. Now we don't know if this is boosted any differently with the algorithm. Live videos tend to be when they're live, but then when it's done, it's not live anymore. It might be a cool functionality to bring in your community to have a chat. I don't know, what do you think? Will you be using the premiere function? Please leave a comment down below. But remember, whether I am premiering or not, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon so you don't miss any premieres. Check out my wonderful playlists. Go out there, start creating.